Hey there, how's it going? This is Kevin. Uh, and I am in the park again. This is Sunday. I can't remember what day of the week it is, but it's Sunday. Sunday in the park with Kev. And uh, today I'm going to tell you a little story about some bad interaction with the cops I had at one point or another, which um, when rethinking this story through, I only realized how different it would have been had, say, I been not Anglo. So, um, but it's funny, and I'll tell it. So, before we get to it, though, it's raining in the park. It's a lot different in here than it has been on our previous shoots. If we get little raindrops on the camera, then, hey, that's Portland. That's, that's what we do here. Rain. Well, I'll start off this story by telling you that I am a walker. I walk long distances, and I always have. Never learned how to drive. Every girlfriend I've ever had has said, I'm gonna teach you how to drive. I'm like, okay, I'm 56, I still haven't learned how to drive. Uh, I'll let these guys get by. Yeah. Uh, reminds me of the old days. Just a couple of guys walking down the line, just smoking doobies in the park. Again, that's Portland. Uh, but I'm a walker, that's where we were. I walk and I walk. And uh, by the time of this story, I was working at uh, Bird Suite Records on Hawthorne, the 38th in Hawthorne. And uh, I was living uh, over in the Lloyd Center area. And on a nice day, I would just decide, heck, I'm just going to walk to work. It would take about a half an hour to walk to work. On this day, it was Halloween. And so, I was pretty excited. I had to, um, being an actor, you often don't get to celebrate Halloween because, you, you know, you're doing a gig. You've got something to do. And uh, this Halloween was no exception. For some reason or another that I can't remember, uh, I had to be a clown that evening and so um, I loaded my my clown gear up into a hefty bag uh, grabbed my makeup kit which looked like a tool kit and started huffing over from the Lloyd Center area to the Hawthorne area and uh, I get to the top of Laurelhurst Park man it's really raining now so I get to the top of uh, Laurelhurst Park and it kind of behind the music millennium there. There's a row of really beautiful homes up there. And I got my headphones on and I'm jamming. Probably listening to, oh, maybe Super Suckers, Afghan Wigs, or Tom Waits, one of those three. Or it absolutely had to be one of those three. And, uh, and I'm walking and this cop starts pacing me. And I'm driving real slow behind me and there's nobody in the street in front of me and there's no traffic and I'm walking and this cop like paces me for about mm, a block I'll let this cute little dog get by look at that cute little dog ducking under some foliage here oh isn't that pretty maybe anyway um, so this cop's pacing me and he's pacing me and pacing me. And after about a uh, block of it, I just turn around and just go, what? <laughs> and the cop, two cops immediately pop out of their vehicles, uh, guns out, and, uh, and tell me to put my bags to the ground, toolkit to the ground, interlace my fingers, get on my knees, the whole shebang. And I'm laid down on the sidewalk there as one of the cops comes over and picks up my stuff and pulls it over into the driveway across from us and stands with it. And the other cop starts muscling me. Uh, uh, he's got me down on the ground and he's forcing me down on the ground. And uh, he turns to me and says, hey, what's in the bag? And I'm like, well, it's a clown suit. Remember, it's Halloween, I've got the clown suit. He's like, oh yeah. I bet you're going to tell me that in the toolkit there's makeup. I'm like, uh, yeah. 
that's exactly what you're gonna find there and uh, the one cop that's standing with my stuff in the driveway he looks over at him and reaches into the bag and the one cop that's got me down on the ground goes hey what's in the bag and the guy just pulls out one red shoe and starts cracking up and he puts the clown suit back into the bag they let me get back up he apologizes says hey I know it's Halloween I got a Halloween costume it's like okay well there's a guy that's uh, burglarizing homes in this neighborhood and well you're walking along you got a big hefty bag and a tool kit well you can understand I said yeah I can And uh, so they let me up and I go and I'm uh, walk through Laurelhurst Park and I get to the other side of Laurelhurst Park on 37th with a little rise comes up behind the duck pond and I get to the top of that and immediately there are two more police vehicles uh, blocking the exit right there and both of their lights come on the big cherry reds swirling and and uh, and immediately And immediately, I uh, I just reach into the bag and pull out the shoe. Now, in any situation, you know, that's a really dangerous thing for me to do. I mean, the cops, if they had their guns out, they you know, thought I was grabbing a weapon or something. No. Just pull out the shoe and just go, I'm a, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. you got to let me through. I already talked to the other cops at the other side of the park, and they just let me go. And I get over to this side of the park, and here you guys are. And uh, the one cop is not having any of it. And uh, comes strutting over to me. And you know that little stretch of uh, land that exists between the sidewalk and the curb of the street where grass is generally growing? Well, he steps into that, but as he does it, I watch him step into an enormous pile of dog crap. And he stands there and just lets into me you know what do you think you're doing you're so lucky you didn't get shot you just reach right into that bag and i'm like and he berates me they held me there for about five minutes while they get in touch with the other cops that are on the side of the park and get the message that, yeah 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 we stopped him he's good to go and in that moment when you've had two police officers kind of let you off you start getting this little cocky feeling inside of you, you know, and I'm like, you know what? Thanks for making me late for work. You know, <laughs> that's the extent of my ire right there. Thanks for making me late for work. And, oh, by the way, you know when you were screaming and yelling at me? The entire time you were standing in an enormous pile of dog crap. And the cop immediately looks down at his shoe and goes, oh, God, and starts wiping it on the grass. Oh, God. And uh, I turned and walked away. And uh, that little story I've been telling for years. And uh, it's interesting, you know, back then, I thought I had a real big mark on my back by having long hair. Cops really focused on you if you were a white guy with long hair about my age. Got stopped quite a bit for little things, but in the recent course of events, man, that is nothing. Nothing compared to what I knew was going on the whole time. And uh, it's unjust. And in my opinion, it's got to change. It does put a whole new flavor on that story if I wasn't Anglo, as I had said before. But uh, I want to thank you all for joining me. That's my story of the day.